This is the inaugural China International Import Expo, 300,000 square feet of space, and Kenya is among 130 countries represented here with this particular beautiful pavilion as you can see behind me. And a lot of products are here for exhibition, for example, a rose, as you can see. That is not just it, there are also things to do with coffee, tea, but then again joining me is Principal Secretary Industry, Dr. Betty Maina with her crew here and she'll tell us what Kenya has to offer to the world. So this international expo with 130 countries participating, Kenya has decided to be at the center of it and to showcase our iconic products or products that have, you know, Kenya is very good at, but I have also targeting uh, the Chinese market. So you will see a lot of tea uh, here, but you will also notice that the suppliers in Kenya have become quite uh, conversant with the Chinese requirements. So you will see the packaging, for instance, is changing a lot. No, we, don't, we don't pack tea like this at home. But this is how Chinese drink their tea, so we've presented it. Two, there's a lot of variation. So we're selling our purple tea here. We're selling our white tea. We have some green tea, we sold some more purple tea. So this is great. And when you look around, we also just the way we've packaged our coffee, the flowers, the vegetables. So this is why uh, we are present here. We really need, oh yes, and we've got our Kericho gold. Also, and you can see the variations in just our packaging and presentation to just target um, this market. The other thing we're also targeting is for tourism, because they're, 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 with, with, uh, with, no, with um, per capita income of $8,000 um, $8, per year, increasingly the Chinese are becoming wealthy, and wealthy people start to look for other experiences, and therefore they become a good source of tourism uh, for us. So we're also hoping to capture them and uh, be able to attract them uh, into our country. And as China promises to lower tariffs, Kenya is seeking to expand the product base for the Chinese market following calls by President Huru Kenyatta for technical collaboration in sanitary and phytosanitary measures. We are also concluding the SPS agreement which provides for uh, facilitating uh, expansion of uh, uh, exports in um, fresh produce, avocados, beans, stevia, all these pineapples and all these fresh produce. So as, as our government is focusing on creating the environment and the frameworks and uh, mediums for businesses to be able to expand their production into and be able to sell into a market such as this. However, Kenya is not only the country eyeing the Chinese market with agricultural goods. To benefit, Value addition has been identified as a catalyst to market access, especially for tea where most of it leave the country as loose tea. And if you think something, a product like tea, which is our largest foreign exchange earner, we only export, we export 97 in bulk. If we could turn that game around and just do 10% in bulk, you can already see it is a complete game changer. I'll tell you, there are opportunities all over. What has been holding back is the market. And here is the market which we can exploit because they open their doors to us. The cost of production is rising every day. So if they could, that could be mitigated by higher prices of tea, obviously some farmers will go back to tea growing. And we have to appreciate that besides the value, we are going to create so many jobs in the value-added sectors if we can manage to access the market. There are 100 Kenyan exhibitors attending the expo, which concludes this Friday. Reporting for News Our Business in Shanghai, China, I'm Ronald Willie.